It's finding the lift that I find interesting. There's lift in some places and there's downdrafts in other places. With a glider and no engine, you only want the up places. I find it making things very enjoyable. It's, it's just something I do. I'm quite good with my hands. And uh, I enjoy building the models. I'm not very good at flying them. You know, I tend to crash quite a lot. But uh, it's part of model flying is crashing and rebuilding them. That was probably the first symptom. My sight went a little bit. And I, I didn't realise until I'd seen the doctor that that was one of the symptoms that you get. I started getting very tired. I would get to by lunchtime and I was literally so tired I could have just laid on the floor wherever I was and, and gone to sleep. I went, we went go-karting yesterday in Scotland. Did you? Yeah. Well, it, indoor or outdoor? Well, there was both, but we stayed on the indoor track. Uh, my cousin's husband, he had diabetes, mm -hmm. and first he went blind, he lost his sight, uh, and then ultimately he died with it. Uh, and I thought, well, you know, I don't really want that. Uh, I've still things I want to do and see my family growing up. They're the main reason for carrying on living, really, is your family. Uh, when they're growing up, they take up all your time and gradually you end up, you find your life revolves around your family. <laughs> Shame on you, Lauren Robinson. We'll take after you, what you tried. <laughs> At first they were just on tablets and they helped quite a lot but they weren't enough. My sugar levels were still too high. So uh, then they put me on that and that worked very well at bringing things down. I had no side effects at all with it. The tiredness I felt at first, it just faded away and I went back to how I was before. and. Uh, the energy levels were back up and I could carry on living a normal life. Come on, come on, come on. Straight back at you. Uh, it's a little bit annoying at the moment because I'm usually the slowest driver in the team and uh, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, so I keep, keep going back and trying to get faster. It's not so good. It's all in fun, but we still do get passionate. You know, you, you try in everything you can to win. Go on, go on. I don't think we ever will, but we keep trying. Everywhere else, I were holding me on. Yeah, you know, but those two spots, I were just losing out. <laughs> I've seen people that that it control that illness controls the life. And uh, I didn't want to live that way. I wanted to live my life as normal as possible. And using the Lyra drug, it's, it's worked out that I can do that. Well, oh, no, there is. <laughs> what? I'm 75. Well, I can't do what I have to do. No. If they released it in this country, yes, I, w I would quite like to go back on it again. Because I found it, uh, things were much stabler with it. Uh, with the drugs I have now, it, it does go up and down a little bit. But um, with the other drugs, it was very good, very stable. And as I say, that allows you to more or less forget about it most of the time and just carry on with your life. I'm supposed to be very ill, but I don't feel it. So I carry on as normal.